Okay. Delta G is something about uh, spontaneity, right? So something is spontaneous. Delta G is positive. It's going the other way around. Reverse reaction. Delta G is, an, is a positive or uh, a negative. It, the reaction is moving forward. So therefore, I think that this is the one thing that you you know. Everyone knows this, right? So that's an equilibrium. Negative, moving forward. Positive, moving backward. You stay resting the, the lowest minima where the delta G is a zero. And, and then there is another equation that is, pops up to you, which is a delta G is delta G naught plus RT ln Q. So here I use a Q as a description of the ratio between product concentration and the reactant concentration, quote unquote, and that's the way that it is always being described. And then I'm combining these two together. Now, now what about if you do at this, if, if this is same? So if I go do that, right, and that means uh, at equilibrium, the Q becomes K at equilibrium. I'll delete those my notation. So put everything now here. You you will get to the way the equation is written uh, in a normal way. Well, zero is delta G naught R T K. So this this simple equation is very powerful. And then we have we can use that to figure this one out. And so that's the that's the the most important equation is this one. And this is an equation that you just use uh, to calculate k value uh, given that you know how to do the, the delta G naught. Okay, so this is I think the if you took the chemistry or the uh, the biology before. Our body uses an energy, and the energy is what is called the, the ATP. So ATP is chemical structure looks like that. I just find it and, and show it to you. This is a triphosphate, right? So you have a th three phosphate. If you lose one phosphate, you get diphosphate. So ADP. So triphosphate TP becomes a diphosphate, and that's how actually I'm, I'm generating energies here. So it, it is uh, the way, and you're losing the one phosphate. And then here, though, it was given that our body temperature is a 30, uh, 37 degrees C. And uh, this human body temperature, delta G, is minus 33 kilojoules. So it, it was actually delta G naught at our room temperature, uh, and temperature is 310 Kelvin was given. And then can you calculate the equilibrium constant for this reaction? Okay. So this this problem is actually quite simple to do. So okay, I remember uh, equilibrium means delta G is zero. So you guys can can do that as a fresh reminder. And I know RT ln K at equilibrium. So this this whatever I said in the top sums in in the one single equation just looks like that, and then okay, and then the, they're asking me ln k, so ln k must be minus r t delta g naught, and then you can you can do uh, delta g was minus thirty three kilojoule so minus thirty three kilojoule per mole. This one too. So I like, like I always said this one was given to describe to to use or to gener to consume one one mole of ATP. That's your delta G. And luckily the reaction was written in the same way. So this K value is depending on on the on this uh, the way that uh, reaction is written. And that's what actually for that particular reaction. So it just happened to be, I mean, if this one, they don't have to write per mole, okay? Just say the way the reaction is written, 
that changes minus 33 kilojoules. I think that's plain and simple. That's the way it is. But it's so common that they just put a pump all, trying to, trying to, uh, I guess, give you extra information on that. At any rate, sorry, let me plug out your number and then 3.8.314, and temperature is 310 Kelvin. Okay. And that's the, that's the 13.0. Okay. So therefore, my K value is e to the 13.0. Plug it in, 3.6. So what that means is the, uh, the ratio between the product divided by reactant, this is a heavily favored. Okay. So one out of, I mean, I would say just a, like a million, one out of a million, you have an ATP, and just a little bit of an ATP, you, you have a used as an energy source. And this reaction is, delta J is negative, so it's a spontaneous reaction. Whenever you have this one, they favor to form and that energy, uh, that spontaneous reaction, the heat is being released in a form of an enthalpy, and the delta H can be calculated. And so so uh, here's, a, I think, the same thing, my, my comment here before. K is ATP concentration, ADP concentration, So this is another example of how the K is being written. So I have a com one, com one small complaint of, uh, wait a minute, I think that you, you missed this. Am I right? Did I miss it or actually I should not write it? Yeah, it, it is a, you can say it is a part of the definition not to write it. I mean, the way that it's written, it looks like, I, I mean, automatically I should write this way. But it is not. It's, uh, you are not writing this. The reason is because this is a, we kind of know that your body has an enormous amount of H2O. So it is not part of the uh, ingredient. Okay? It's part of the reaction. So it is an abundant, excessive amount. And that's just kind of a solvent in, in there. So you don't, you don't write it this way. That's the way that the K value is being defined here. So it just, uh, you just have to, uh, I guess, uh, understand what this reaction is trying to mean. And when you have an excess amount of the water and there's an ATP, ATP dissociated into ADP and an extra phosphate. So that's the way that I write it. Uh, so somebody who might be a little bit more extra careful, they want to put this little suit subscript there and that's perfectly good okay i mean that's actually i like it this way it just uh, sometimes the people are too busy to write that equation not to write the equilibrium concentration just the way it is the blue equation and knowing that the whole thing is an equilibrium concentration